Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We are in the garage this weekend working on the boat. So quite a bit has happened since the last time you saw the boat. And the big one is that I've painted it. Let me show you what this thing looks like. So there it is. It is that aqua mist color. It's a really light green. And I got to tell you, I am pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, there's a few little blemishes here and there um, from it just being my first time But overall I am extremely happy with how this thing turned out. Uh, let me show you a picture real quick Of what it looked like before I flipped the boat. You can see it a little bit better there But I am super happy. I think it looks great. I think the color the color is exactly what I wanted um, when I get that teak colored marine mat on top of the deck on top of that color I think it's gonna look really sharp the other thing that I was able to get done since y'all have seen the boat was I put these bungee cords into my push pole holder so now I can bungee that thing to these uh, these two push pole holders that I carved let me show you what that's gonna look like so I've got my cypress push pole here that I've shown y'all before that my dad made for me and now I just butt it up against this push pole holder and take my bungee cord, strap it on like that. And same with this one here. And there it is, just like that. And I did clean these up and hit them with some linseed oil, but it looks like they have pretty much absorbed all of that linseed oil. So I'm going to hit them again when this is all done. And, uh, and it'll make that grain pop a little bit more, make them look a little nicer. But all in all, they look the way that I wanted them to. I wanted them to have that carved look to them, just kind of a rough cut look. And I think I definitely achieved that. As I'm filming this video, Hurricane Ida is actually making landfall in Louisiana and Mississippi. So I just wanted to say that our prayers go out to anyone and everyone that is being impacted by this storm. Uh, I hope the best for all of you, your family members, your friends, and your property out there. Um, it's, it's a big one. I hope you all are staying safe out there right now. So my plan for the boat today is to get it primed on top. Um, so just like priming the bottom, I got to take some time to prepare the surface. I got to get all of the dust off of it and then all of the oils, make sure it's perfectly clean before I prime it and then we'll prime it up and, uh, and we'll be one step closer to finishing this thing. Okay, so we started out with the blower to get all the big chunks off, and then I hit it with a wet rag to get all the little bits of dust off. Then we hit it with some acetone to remove all the oil, and then a microfiber cloth to just pick up any of the real fine particles that might have still been on the boat. So I think the surface is prepped and ready for primer. The primer that I'm using is called System 3 Yacht Primer, and it's a two-part deal. You've got part A and part B, and the way you mix it is it's four parts of part B, to one part of part A. You mix them together and let it sit for 15 minutes and you apply it to the boat. go that's the first coat of primer I'm gonna do one more and then sand it all smooth before I paint it but I think I'm gonna call it for now um, it is really hot outside I've been out here for two or three hours now working on this so I'm gonna be done for the day 
But just like the bottom, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It definitely needs a second coat and it will get one. But it's looking good. That is one step closer to being done. All right, so next steps. I've got a couple things that I'm gonna do right after the primer and before I paint. One of them is work on my grab rail. I need to figure out exactly where it's gonna go and I need to get the holes drilled for the feet before I paint it. I'm afraid that if I paint it and then drill it, the paint might delaminate, I'm not sure, but I don't wanna take that chance. So that and I figured there's probably nothing wrong with getting a little bit of paint down in those holes to kind of seal up that wood a little bit. Um, and then after I have those holes located and I know exactly where these little feet are gonna fall on the boat, I've got my marine mat kit. So this is a kit of two sheets of plastic with a Sharpie and a straight edge and things like that. And what I do is I lay out those sheets of plastic on the boat and I draw around the perimeter of, of the deck to define where I want my marine mat to fall. So I have a sheet for the deck up here and I have a sheet for the deck up here and I'm gonna have it so that it's cut around these supports and everything. And then once I have everything marked out on that plastic, I ship it back to Marine Mat and they custom make the mats that go in this boat. So I am super excited about that. I think it takes them a couple weeks to, to cut it and get it sent back to me. So I wanna get that done and get it in the mail to them as soon as possible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it for me. I'm really happy with this priming job. I'll get out here tomorrow, give it a second coat, sand it all smooth, and get it ready for the next two things in the paint. Uh, we're almost there. This thing should be on the water soon. If you enjoyed this boat building video, then make sure you go check out the other boat building videos that I have on my channel. Well, you all have a blessed week, and I will see you next Tuesday.